Jake Paul's ex-girlfriend, Elisa Violet, is at war with Jake Paul's current girlfriend, Erica Costell. Now, to better understand all of this, we need to take you back. Take you back to when Elisa Violet exposed Jake Paul for being a cheating son of a bitch. A couple months ago, she uploaded this video titled, What You have Been Waiting For. And in the video, she talks about when her and Jake Paul were together, Jake Paul would fly other girls in from out of town and bang them right in front of her. Roll it. So he flew out this girl from Ohio, right? She walks in the door, I have to like, be like, Ohio, nice to meet you, whatever. I'm like a bitch. I'm like literally a bitch. Like I don't mean to be, but like, dude, you're smashing the guy I'm like in love with. And I would be like downstairs in the kitchen, like making breakfast or something. And then all of a sudden I hear them upstairs like, like I could hear it. I could literally hear it. Like, do you know what that does to a person that you like love? And then you could just hear them like banging another girl upstairs. And that's happened so many times. Like it's not, something clicks in your head. Like you want to kill someone. Now here's the thing. Before Erica became Jake Paul's girlfriend, Erica used to be like the secretary for Team 10. She didn't officially join Team 10 until June. And remember when Elisa Violet said that, you know, Jake Paul would fly girls in and bang them right in front of her? Well, this guy on Twitter, known as Gustavo, tweeted out, Kayla is the girl that Jake flew out from Ohio. Also, she happens to be the same girl Elisa was talking about in her truth video. And then Gustavo started doing the math, all the calculations, and he realized, Wait a minute, Jake Paul's current girlfriend, Erica, was the one purchasing flights for these girls to come to the house to bang Jake Paul in front of Elisa Violet. What the fuck? And when he tweeted this theory out, Elisa Violet responded by saying she actually was. Oh my fucking God. Elisa Violet followed up with, I never lie. Um, <laughs> we made a few wrong turns. I thought we were gonna get back up before like the sunset and I honestly have no idea where we are. We lost all track of signs. Like all of the signs that we were following ended. I don't really know what to do. My phone's alive, it's at 3%. Um, but it has no signal. Lauren's phone is dead. I honestly don't know what to do. Like, I'm pretty terrified. To be completely honest. Saw a snake earlier. No, all jokes aside though, like, I'm actually scared. There's a lot of spiders. I don't know where we are. There's no park rangers. They all left because we were supposed to be out of here by 6 o'clock. It is now about 8.30. <laughs> it is now about 8.30. <laughs> it is now about 8.30. <laughs> Kelly's battery doesn't have much life left on it, um, so if we make it back, I'll check back in with you guys, but for right now, we're gonna focus on getting out of here 